What is the dragon gonna be? Lolly? Milf. I have a feeling that it's gonna be a lolly, bro. Cause like it's already talk it already has a female voice actor, right? It's already folded to Noor. He parried the dragon. Last episode was actually hype. It was usually Noor being stupid makes me upset at the show, but last episode was genuinely hype. It was a super pop-off episode. Everyone witnessed the heroics of Noor, and he did parry the dragon. It was fantastic. But now that we've made this dragon subservient to us, I think it's about to change forms and I'm like, please be a MILF, please be a MILF, but it's most likely gonna be a lolly. Let's begin today's reaction. Gushed, bro. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Opening? Opening? What makes sense? What? He's gonna say, Rolo, you control this dragon and help me beat it. Wow, thank you, Rolo. You made it submit, bro. You riz the dragon. He's not getting it. Deport the dragon. But わがままを言っ Okay, Noor has already become the master of this dragon. The master. Yeah, I wonder who the master is, huh? それなら大人しく住みかに into a human form and I thought it would transform into a human form at the beginning of the episode and it's just gonna be like a slice of life moment with probably the lolly but okay the dragon goes away <sighs> for that go oh, dragon out of nowhere Uh, magical Empire people? <laughs> it's the Emperor. It's the, it's the shitty Emperor, right? I mean, you sniped it out of nowhere! Like, what is... What is the idea? Because the Emperor released the dragon here. And as the dragon fucks up the town and leaves, because the Emperor doesn't know what happened. He just shot the dragon randomly? Like, why? Because to any bystander, it should seem like, oh, the dragon's fucked up the town and now it's leaving, but okay. Dude, he's so shiny, oh my god. 
Whoa. Magic. Magic guns. Oh, they are OP. That dude can just summon soldiers like this and they have guns. They have better weapons than us. Yeah. That's the power of magic, I guess. It is called the Magical Empire. Huh. A beast tamer has already awakened the dragon of calamity and brought it to a heel. Awakened it? We don't know that beast tamer just yet, right? It wasn't Rolo. Okay, they are so much more advanced than us, huh? Holy shit, man. Like, I knew they were strong, but like, in terms of military might, like, look at all the different shit they have. <laughs> what is this camera placing with this head, bro? Elite soldiers. Silence! I am the emperor. Oh my god. Oh man, drunk with power. Trying to make sure the magical technology is monopolized. He can rule over everybody. This guy seems to be the one of the few people that's reasonable enough, right? He doesn't want to be a warmonger, but maybe with his help, we can bring this place down. We'll see. You're going to blame the dungeon. You brought peace to this place? And no one cares. That's the script. Yeah, the dungeon break happened. This town, this kingdom fell. And then we brought peace to it. Yeah, we're the good people. Cap, gaslight. The poor dragon! Can low heal heal enough? This Enes Glaze, the Emperor, one of the living legends known all around the world, and like, this bitch has just... She isn't getting better, but like, damn, the early episodes of her, she just sucks. Genuinely, if you've seen the anime, like, what good things has she done? I know she follows orders, but like, goddamn, other than that, like, <laughs> she sucks. No. The beam attack. Time to parry this. So I wonder Nor Perry is gonna be like credit given to Ines and they're gonna be like, oh my god, the shield sovereign really does live up to the hype. Okay. There it is. Putty. Putty. Nope. No. Nope. Off screen. Now we're we're going back in time. We're waiting for the charge beam to attack. <laughs> <laughs> Ines, you didn't even put anything up. Ines was like, oh shit, it's about to happen. Please, Lady Lin, get back with Rolo. <laughs> just, just stared at it. This is why Ines is just trash. I'm not even trying to hate on her. I'm just explaining to you what I'm seeing on the screen. Over the past episode, too, she sucks, dude. <laughs> Honey! Honey! Oh 
my god, Enos is legend. It is true. Emperor, glaze. Emperor, let's hear the glaze. A misfire. All right, one more coming. Ready for another one? Magic technology weapons. War. It's fine, we have Noor. No, she didn't. She didn't understand. Oh, finally! Enos! Finally! God, he's so shiny. I don't know. Backstory time. Is that a beehive? No shit! So before, there was a backstory with poison and how he ate the dragon poison shit and overcame it, right? These backstories are supposed to tie his stupid past and to see how he's going to resolve things. The lesson here is that he ran away and it just worked out from a beehive. So he's now going to run. He's going to run and it's going to work out. Okay. わかりました。では私も微力ながら。ノロ、頼む。ノロ。それでは衝撃に備えてください。え、衝撃まさか。わかってるか、リノルでなんアスクフォルト。決死の特攻をかけようとしているわけじゃ。あ、あそこ。
<laughs> Holy. And all of this happened after North said, we gotta run away, right? He straight up said, we gotta run away, but then Lin was like, I got you, Noor. And he's like, wait, wait do you, do you, I, I don't want to go in there. And then we got sent in there. He literally just defeated the entire fucking army. My man is on another level. I hope he gets credit for this. I think this is pretty good use of your CGI, by the way. The shield and the sword just blowing up there. It does not look really jarring. This is pretty good CGI. It honestly just shows us the sheer scale of the amount of weapons and armies there are. Oh! Emperor's not so shiny anymore. Look. Look at his armor. It's all getting dirty, right? He used to be so shiny and glistening. My man's got mud on his armor now. Have they? Oh yeah, just through the binocular. Wind magic. You're gonna shit your pants? No way, he doesn't know. Come on, Emperor. You can't fight? Okay, okay. God, what a fucking coward, man. Remember the other dude, our king? What did he do in the face of the dragon? He went on the front lines. He was willing to die with the dragon, bro. This dude, I was actually the king. This guy, this emperor, what a pathetic spineless coward. I ran through him again. Nah, that's gonna fall on him. Bop. He's running. I guess it does seem crazy, huh? Like everything is just going out flying. It's like, like we know why it's happening. Because he's running around causing a tornado. But it does seem like it's just raining trains and guns, huh? Yeah, but we have Noor. Yes. Stop that him again. <laughs> What's he doing? He just keeps running around over and over. This is like the fourth time that he's showed up. You know it? Lore? Lore of the weapon? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> and he's running that fast with it, bro. Oh, shit. The king needed both hands to wheel it. The freakishly strong king. Have, and Nord usually just single hands it, right? One handed running around this fast! <laughs> Whether or not he wanted to. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Noor is not that much of a sociopath. He's too dumb to be a sociopath. I don't think he's trying to humiliate you at all. There's something else going on here. I'm not sure. Oh, you piece of shit. <laughs> he just got to leak that? All right, you deserve it. <laughs> Oh, come on, you actually gonna piss your pants, bro? Come on! <laughs> I love how he pissed his pants, grabbed the crown, put it back on his head, and ran away. He made sure he got the crown after pissing his pants. God, what a coward, man. Coward, man. But I guess it did look that intimidating. I wonder what Noor was thinking. I parry an army. And that's today's episode, man. They're really holding what Norse perspective is till the very end. Like, I guess we'll see in next episode. Usually the, the format is the enemies are just in awe of what happened. And then you close it off with Norse actual thinking. And it's just like, yep, you fucking dumbass. 
I have no clue what he must be thinking at this point. He's just running around, just fucking shit up. I don't know. I Because you know that he's thinking something completely different, but that's the episode. Just when you thought the war was done. Nah, man. The dragon got shot down for... I don't know exactly why. I thought that they wouldn't want the dragon to come around, but they shoot it down. And then we see the magical emperor's uh, empire's technology. They got crazy weapons. They can, like, summon soldiers. Magical swords, shields, armors, blah, blah, blah. But none of that shit matters at the end of the day. Nor literally went in and parried an entire army. I love... The sheer scale of these CGI swords and uh, shields flying up. It didn't make it just seem like there's that many more people, right? This is really good usage of CGI. Just, again, highlighting the sheer scale of the army and exactly what Nor's doing. Bro just ran around. He just kept running around. Shields went up. Swords went up. Swords fell down. Shields fell down. All their weapons. Everything's getting fucked up. Basically, just like a typhoon everywhere. And then the Emperor pisses himself and runs away. And Nor... I don't know what the fuck he's thinking. We'll find that out next episode. And that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.